Hello everybody, today is currently Saturday, October 17th, 2009. Today I'm going to show you how to make Firefox faster. Actually, not really Firefox, but your browsing experience. What's going to be faster? Normally, the settings in Firefox are designed for, like, imagine this giant group of people. They don't know if you're using dial-up, DSL, whatever, so they don't optimize or anything. They just leave a standard and just use that. But if you're using DSL or broadband, you can make changes to your configuration settings in Firefox and make Firefox faster. Note here that these settings won't change anything if you're using dial-up. If you're using dial-up, nothing you do can change the speed. You're stuck in a low speed. And unless you do something drastic, like you say, with flash and images, you won't get any increase. So, with that, get, with that out, out of the way, let's get going. To change the settings on Firefox, you will go to the About Config Settings, the About Config page on Firefox by typing About the two dots config, then pressing Enter. And it's going to take you to the about config page. When you do that, you want to filter and type HTTP on the filter. When you do that, it's going to get you to the filters with all the values that are called HTTP. For example, there is network HTTP, there is uh, I think my computer froze a little bit. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we got the HTTP filters. <coughs> here we have network HTTP accept encoding and other values are network HTTP. What you want to edit is uh, f the value that says network HTTP pipelining. You want to change it to true. When you change it to true, you're enabling it. Another value that you want to change is network HTTP pipelining max requests. That value you're going to change it to the number 8 from the standard for. You're going to press OK. The other one that you want to enable is HTTP proxy pipelining. When you enable these three, you're going to notice a slight increase in Firefox, but it's going to be noticeable. For example, your YouTube videos will load in chunks and will no longer be um, loading. Like, for example, you're playing a music video. Let's say you're playing a music video. And you're listening to the first 30 seconds, then it stops for like 10 seconds, then it plays for another 30 seconds. With this enabled, you won't have to wait those 10 seconds and so you can watch it without stopping. That's the impact the settings have on your inner speed. There are other settings that you can enable that will make Firefox even faster, but they're drastic. Like, for example, you can disable flash, images, you can disable everything except text. But, these are very drastic and will give you a real increase, except if you're using dial-up. If you're using dial-up, you might want to disable anything that's not needed. But again, if you're using dial-up, you're kind of primitive. Because now even DSL is getting primitive because of fiber optic. So, if you're still using dial-up, here's my advice. Stop using it and go change to DSL or fiber optic. I'll go with DSL because fiber optic is like extremely fast and unless you want to be downloading like games or videos or whatever you won't really need it that's all the information I got for you right now if you got any questions about anything technological like computers um, PSPs, Wii, GameCube 
whatever electronics that you need help with and I could make a video to show them how to fix some problem whatever that may be just um, send a PM to my leave a comment on the channel leave a comment on this video below and ask I mean if you need something I can and I can help you I will so that's everything I got right now um, thanks everybody for watching if you like this video or any of the other videos that I have made subscribe to my channel I'm going to continue making technological videos hopefully better than this one right now I'm barely starting making this kind of videos and I'm still getting used to it I'm using this new program I just found called Hypercam in case you want to know which program I'm using to capture the action of my monitor screen and I'm using a netbook what does that mean? it means my computer is a little bit slower and maybe the video is not that really well synchronized together so I'm telling you that in advance so you don't start playing more so right alright so thanks everybody for watching subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all later